Hey everybody, this is Ed Diaz with First California Mortgage. So I've been getting a lot of inquiries lately about tips for networking. I do a lot of networking myself, so I came up with Ed's five power networking tips. Number one, you have to show up to blow up. What do I mean by that? You gotta show up to these events. Go and Google them, ask other people about events, get on people's invitation list. You can put it out in your social networks. One of the things that I'm realizing in this recession is that a lot more people are networking. So these events are getting pretty packed. It's a great opportunity to meet some really great referral partners. Number two, when you do show up, pick the quiet ones. What I've noticed, and I'm sure you've noticed this as well, there's always these few folks that go to these networking events that aren't necessarily the best networkers. They're a bit shy. They're in the corner by themselves. They're not talking much. But I have found that when I engage those, it's a really great way to just start the event, number one. And two, they make really great referral partners. Number three, when you engage them, don't start blabbing about yourself. Talk to them about their business. Ask them a lot of questions. Who's their best referral partner, for example? Who's their best type of client? What are some of the challenges that they have in their industry? Because it might be an opportunity for you to help them. Then number four, grab their card. And on the other side of the card, write some notes. Make sure that they watch you writing down the notes because they're going to appreciate the fact that you've taken the time to actually write the stuff down. And that's where you can write down who's their favorite type of client, their best referral partner, etc. Then number five, this is huge, the follow-up. Number one, they gotta go in the database. Instantly, you have to put everybody in the database. Number two is you gotta send out a handwritten thank you card. You have to do it, put your card in there. I personally like cards instead of writing a letter. And then number three, it, you wanna send an email to that person that you met, CC a referral partner of yours so that you can connect them. Send a couple, maybe one or two of your great referral partners that you feel would be great referral partners for them. And then number four of my number five is send them a separate email asking them to go to lunch or for coffee. I personally like to do coffee because it's really clean and very quick. And I do that. If you feel they're great referral partners, by the way, or they could be, that's who you want to send that email to. All right. So there you go. It's five tips. Power networking. Take care.